everybody wants to listen. Everybody want to start the party with a P. However, yeah. doing that, the first word in all your P is peoples. We are mm. going to get there and we're not going to be strained. Tell me about you. Why did you vote for PNM? And why did you vote for Keith Rowley? And now you're raising, you start to raise the argument about Keith Rowley, but you voted for him. Why did yeah, you? Yeah, you get my facts. Now, well, 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 let me tell you let something. Me let me tell you something on this show. Eh? This is our show today. And yeah, 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 yeah. We, yeah. Ain't, we, we ain't getting vexed. We get no, in, but but like no, no, no. Say, we, I, I, we I ain't gonna get vexed. We ain't getting vexed on this show under no condition, <laughs> no name calling, no bashing. Nah, we nah, 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 nah. We taking the show to a level of eloquence. Decency and in order. Yes. yes. And you like that? Of course. Well, you promised me that. Listen, yes. Yes. Definitely. Definitely. Did you sign a waiver? Definitely. Yes. You sign a waiver, and that waiver. Yes, I did. I I I designed that waiver during my sleep. I don't know why I wanted it, but I had a life before with your boss and the life didn't turn out well and his people did not treat me nice and he did not defend me so tonight I don't need you to defend me after now if we stay the course correct so this correct. question answer to the people why you saw it fit to take up all your intelligence, all your wits and charm, and vote for the people's national movement and voting for Keith Rowley. Well, I would tell you um, what Keith Rowley had impressed me with was the uh, tenure of uh, Patrick Manning, uh, the time when he the stood time when where. He was rude. Uh, the, well, the they say he was rude, rude. but. Uh, they, they, well, that's what uh, Patrick Manning was saying. Um, but the fact what I had looked at was the actual message, which was uh, the misbehavior happening in public office at the time. Um, I just thought coming from the bowels of the PNM and a, a member of, uh, of their cast having to actually step out of his crease and voice his opinion, um, I thought that was a really, really, really good quality. Um, it meant to say that, you know, he was not one that had strings attached, uh, being guided or, or or directed as to what to say, do or, or think. Um, so, again, it, it, it was something and I'm being as honest as possible. Uh, you know, I, it, it appealed to me. It honestly, I, it honestly did. Um, unfortunately, him getting into office and uh, seeing the actions taken place from that standpoint, uh, was a great, great, great disappointment. Great disappointment. Uh, okay. Because I do we, believe... Okay, um, we're not going off too much on that. one question. You answered it. Let's get into this part. Because I know how decent you are. I, I, I saw you. I didn't really know you. Until these conversations started with the PEP. <laughs> But then yes. you voted before the PEP party started for the Kamala Bissessa's party. Yes, why yes. You did, why you did that? Well, again, um, it was a, a, a historical time in Trinidad and Tobago's history. Uh, the first woman prime minister, uh, in my mind, I think as a woman, she is able to identify the social needs of a nation. Knowing that we have a social problem in Trinidad and Tobago, you know, we have broken homes, uh, we have single parent environments, uh, you know, the, the it, it's just everything is based from the home. Our children don't have the guidance from the elders that they had back in yesteryears, um, you know, in your and my time, um, you know, so it's a totally different environment. And, and for me, I really thought to myself that um, Kamala was able to identify these things. I mean, um, she, she's shown several different instances, like, for example, uh, where children are considered education and uh, providing the laptops and so on. Again, 
um, really, really commendable initiatives that she had taken at that stage and that point. Um, if it could have been implemented better, yes, of course it could have. Um, but at the end of the day, what I'm saying is, is that my drive in wanting to give the support towards Kamala was the fact of her being the first woman prime minister in Trinidad and Tobago's history. And uh, I think uh, with that standpoint, um, we were able to identify certain things that were being overlooked uh, by other leaders, which were male predominant um, in our past history. Okay, uh, we so will, we you know, will get we will get back to Sister Kamala later. Let us go into the PEP now. This is this is the point where there is no yes. return. There is no return. It's now or never. <laughs> yes, it's now or it. never. <laughs> if the bull have horns, we're gonna grab that horn because you know it's not the horn alone could damage you on a bull. A bull can kill. Yeah. yeah, of course. A raging course. bull can put you down, even if it doesn't have a horn. So let's get into what made you. Well, let me ask you: Were you part of the inception? Of the PEP party, did you start it or did you join the party? No, I joined the party. Uh, not too long after it was actually uh, incepted, uh, I had joined the party, uh, but I was not one of the founders. Who started no. the party? Although I was told, don't, uh, although as far as I, I understand, was told in bold letters on my inbox that the only way that. I wouldn't be making confusion is if I didn't call his name, Mr. Philip Alexander's name, and to call PEP. But my life can't go on because he's the one who told me to call you, to interview you, because he is 100% right. right. And I should interview you and other people. However, we're not going to stray. So, at what point in time did you join the PEP, and why? Well, um, take a deep breath. Take a deep breath. <laughs> Mama is troubling her. but <laughs> really and truly, I would say um, again, I was in a place in my life at that point uh, as a business person, as, as a regular citizen on the ground, and dealing with all that that we were dealing with. Um, I came across. You know, being frustrated, um, especially with the uh, uh, political landscape that we had at that point. Um, it was not one that left a very good taste in your mouth because, uh, again, the people constantly was not being, uh, they weren't great beneficiaries of uh, uh, the actions taking place by those in leadership at that point. Um, I came across a live a night and uh, saw Philip and um listen to him for a while i'm looking at this guy and saying okay uh he's making a lot of noise but uh what he's saying is making a lot of sense i like that um and again i, I am not going to knock philip on in any aspect or what i'm saying is uh the man has a message he he Amen. has been uh he's he's been putting a, a real message out there for trinidad and tobago and, uh, and uh, you have to give jack his jacket um, at the end of the day, he was one of those, not the only one. There have been other people within society in different time frames, in different times, uh, parts of our history, uh, even within our present landscape right now, um, that have also brought out a lot of issues that we're dealing with as citizens and highlighting it. The same way Philip uh, was at that time um, as an advocate, as a political advocate. Um, but again, he had a really, really good message and it uh, resonated with me and uh realizing that uh, I, I remember sending him a message and I said to him, uh, brother, if uh, I like what you're seeing, um, he was asking uh, about he's wanting to start a party. And I say, yeah, go for it. Uh, you know, start the bloody thing. And, you know, I will rally as my people behind you because uh, the message, what you're saying is it's, it's a really good message. It's what the, the nation needs to hear. Um, and it's not even to say that our leaders of the past don't know the message. They do. They do know the message. There have been instances uh, uh, Kamala have, have, have mentioned certain things in her in her tenure. Um, she has accomplished certain things as well, uh, as well as Patrick Manning, as well as Basia Pandey, as well as uh, uh, Dr. Eric Williams. But again, 
um, knowing the history of our, our, our brothers, our ancestry, uh, from where we've come, uh, you know, as indentured laborers and slaves to another land that's not our actual home, as, a, as our ancestral home, um, you know, getting independence, uh, what really turned my stomach um, was that our leaders are also grandchildren of uh, uh, Indian Africa. And um, for them not to put their best foot forward in bringing the level of betterment for the citizens of Trinidad and Tobago um, was the problem for me because I saw my father sitting waiting for change. I saw my grandmother sitting waiting for change. I saw my great grandmother sitting waiting for change and they did not get it. And um, at the end of the day, we were in a position as a nation, having the resources that we've had to be able to provide that to our citizens, every single last one of them. And uh, it's just a form of incompetence and, and purposeful failure by our leaders of the past. Um, I'm hoping that, you know, the leaders that are still within our political environment is able to learn from the mistakes that they've made um, and is able to now actually take a, a step back and listen to the population and what they're asking, what they're saying. Um, and that's the only way that you're actually going to know what there is to do, uh, how much betterment that you really need to take to the people. Um, is knowing exactly what are they experiencing, what is the what is the problems that they, they, they face on a day-to-day -day basis as a citizen of Trinidad and Tobago, listening to the people. That's the bottom line there, you know. That's it. Coming up with a solution and fixing the problem, doing the job. That's the whole thing. That's There's nothing more you need to do outside of that. If a, a constituency need a fire station, Put our budget in place we have a gdp we're making uh, foreign exports we're doing local manufacturing give the people the fire station they need a, 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 a healthcare system or they need a, a couple new schools or what the case might be the point is it's a matter of identifying what the nation needs what the citizens need because every constituency is different and and actually putting the fo focus and effort and emphasis there we will fix the country you know we will we will we will it's yeah, just but, a matter of getting um, people to do the job. We, you still have a part of the question that you will yes. have to provide an answer. And that part is, um, right. you educated. You have your wits about you. You are karma in this position. Mr. Alexander is the guy that has more fire than you. But now I recognize that you have real fire too. I recognize that you have voice though. I recognize well, that. Wait, wait, don't rush up yet. I recognize that you saw something in Philip that you felt in yourself. Yes. And, and the reason for joining Philip is because you believe that you two together at the helm can bring the change that Trinidad and Tobago need. And bring the change for the young people that I am fighting for. You see, I kind of tired listening to all politicians. All politicians not doing things for the future. So now, tell us. Tell the people. Let us calm the waters now. Because, you know, the birth, birthing does really come with blood and water. Yeah? In charge of birth, blood. We have water. Oh gosh, you water break. Well, now <laughs> you went into this with your eyes wide open. Yeah. Philip started the party with whomever else. I really don't know the se right. the sequence of anything. I just listened to the guy, and the guy had a message with numbers and figures that draw me to the party. I didn't know who else was with him because somehow. I wasn't seeing anybody else with him up and down. I never see anybody else much. I saw you on one and two shows and your song did good. Thank you. Yes. You sounded very calm. You sounded collective. And you sounded that you could be a real... You know that they say we suppose a, a woman supposed to be a help meet for a man. Well, you and Philip sounded like if you guys was about to become the leading opposition party and to get into position that you could have taken the country further. What happened? 
to make this love and business relationship fall apart. What was the final straw? What happened? We've been hearing a lot of back and forth, and I'm going to get to that part. Tell us, please, my dear friend. I invite real people to listen to you, you know. So let me get it because, yeah, and we're in a one hour already. And we're now getting into stuff because you have, yes, you have a story to tell. You have a news to break and we're ready for it, but not right yet. I will tell you when. First, you have to tell me what went on. Why you two encourage so many young people on a platform to get reality by getting you guys to be the best that we have ever seen as political leaders in my country, me, from my point of view. Some people might say, nah, that was never good. I'm looking for policy and I'm looking for people. I don't back parties anymore. Tell us. Well, Mama, Trinidad and Tobago. <laughs> My experience at the Progressive Empowerment Party. Um, I again I started in 2017, um, and I, I worked within uh, the party in itself, assisting as best as I could, uh, whether it be financially, whether it be sweat equity, uh, in any way possible. Again, uh, it was a party that was not funded. Um, I when did what say, I had when to you do. Say in, financially, in my you mean using your money? Yes, using my own money, correct. Um, one of the first meetings that we had in Shabonas, uh, it was actually at my office um, on Kearney Savannah Road. Uh, you know, I, I again, uh, facilitated as much as I could have financially towards uh, the the success of the event in itself. Um, you know, along the way, uh, for the years that I've been with Pep, you know, uh, up and down the road, doing whatever that I had to do again, I never once went asking for any type of... Uh, uh, payment or, or, or you know I, I spent my own money across the board um, and again it was because of love of country it wasn't about me um, looking for a payback from PEP or anything uh, to that effect uh, I know that there was a job to be done there was not any financing for the party and I again extended as much as I could have where the party was at needs was concerned um, and again whether it was financially or uh, physically uh, whether it be intellectually or, or, or what in whatever way that they needed to implement. Um, and I was able to help the situation. I, I was there. And uh, Philip cannot say that that's not the I case. No, 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 no. Don't go by where Philip can't say it. Tell us about you. We're dealing with you right now. The minute we start to All bring right. in Philip, I got to talk about the video that I saw that have me can't sleep for two nights now. You know? <laughs> And I want you to talk about you. What part right. you played and why you couldn't work it out with Mr. Alexander. Well, again, um, this is politics and uh, it's a political vehicle that has been created and um, and the policies are very, very sound. They're, they're great policies. They're great, great policies. Um, the problem for me is, is it going to actually get into parliament uh no uh why because of its leader um we have a lot of good people in in the progressive empowerment party uh over the years assess, assisting and and doing all that they can possibly do uh but the problem is is that unfortunately and as as sweet and as short as i can see it is the leader of the pep is one that does not listen he does not um, That is a problem. Repeat. He does not listen. Oh, listen. Okay. Correct. He does not listen. Um, and when I say does not listen, it's a, it's a matter of, uh, this is not a, a party as a FET. This is a party to help save our country. Uh, we are dealing at the time while I was there with two entrenched political parties and entities that's been in the landscape for, for decades um well entrenched in the society of trinidad and tobago those are where the the lines are drawn basically across the country and we are now trying to create a party a, a new uh vision for the population and uh, the thing is is that the only way you are able to know and i said it just a little while ago 
the only way you can know what's wrong with the people is to listen to the people now i would tell you this i have i have had a lot of people um said a lot of negative things about them and um about who? at the end of the day ab about about, about the leader of the pack okay the leader. not about okay. me yeah um and and this is when i first got into the party and stuff i lost friends i lost business associates as well because uh some people had a personal experience with him and uh they weren't happy they did not see any resolution to what they had dealt with at, at that point in time um and you know they were very upset with me to have to give a uh, support to this individual and i i always turned around to them and i said listen forget the individual uh don't don't kill the messenger uh listen to the damn message that's what we have to focus on and you can't say that the message is not something that is resonating with you because it's something that can help the country it's something that can help the citizens of trinidad and tobago well, and well, um you you um you you're using the word and i picking up can it's can't or can use can can you can see yeah yes see yes <laughs> 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 so again, you see the, um, yeah, yeah, you see the, you see the sexy chinny with a little brush of Yankee and French, you know. <laughs> <laughs> you see, you want to start trouble tonight, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, no, I hear it. All right, so I hear in can't, and you mean can't, 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 yes, yes, right. So, um, the, the point of the matter is, is that. Philip, at times throughout the period that I've been uh, within the party, and uh, many many people can can see this. Uh, the fact is is that he would have his lingo as uh, "miss me with that bullshit" and uh, you know calling the prime minister uh, uh, a jack and, and, and you know calling names and, and these different type of things. Um, there's a, there there were people that like were happy about that. Did you appreciate that? that? no did you okay i understood his frustration but you can't be a leader and bearing for office to be a prime minister of a country and uh, again you have to set the example for the young minds for for the for the citizens of the country because we know um what our past leaders have done and how they have conducted themselves with the citizens and that's what we're talking about that we want to change now you can't preach that in one breath and in the other breath you call in somebody names or or, or being derogatory or, or carrying on carrying on yourself in that manner um okay fine in 2017 the party now started and we wanted to ramp up numbers and and, and attract people and show that we were as grongs people as they were we could talk like them and all of that good stuff all right all well and good great strategy um 2018 we're coming closer to the election period now uh again the 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 concern by the citizens by people especially my own peers who are part of the middle class these are business people who, who are also willing to actually help financially support the party um but they are constantly telling me that they don't like how mr alexander is presenting himself uh to the public and uh if he's not able to change that then they can't help they can't help me they can't support me now on many occasions on on his lives uh, he said it himself me approaching him and telling him about people saying this to, to to me pertaining to him the first thing he will jump up to say is well i don't need their money i don't need their vote they can kiss my half bread behind now how am i to go back to my followers who are following me who already don't want to follow the party but they like the policies eh? but they they are saying that this is a man that is bearing to be the prime minister of trinidad and tobago you hmm. are the representative head that will represent us on an international scale rubbing shoulders with other leaders from other countries around the world not just our own citizens on the ground but again as the leader of trinidad and tobago and its citizens what is the message you are giving them as that example being able to call somebody a jackass or calling some talking about someone's personal life or or being in that in that way i mean really there's a time and place for everything and 
yes, at the beginning of the party, when I started, I let it slide. I sometimes even fan the fire because we wanted numbers. We wanted attention. We wanted people to look our direction and we wanted the man on the ground to hear us, to understand what is being said. But at, at some point, you must step out of that fray and present yourself as a true leader, one that the young people could look up to, be proud of, and have a set example that they can follow because we want the minds of the leaders of our future that's coming down the road not to follow the politics and the way that the, our leaders of the past have conducted themselves. And if we, as a new political party, presenting ourselves to the nation, a nation that already has a tainted taste in their mouth where politics is concerned because COP failed them, NAR failed them, UNC failed them, PNM failed them. Everybody coming down the road had failed the people at some point, way, form, or fashion. And again, it the bottom line is about the people, you know. Not everybody will like me. Not everybody would agree with what I am saying. And as, as me being identified to that and aware of that, I still have to extend a level of respect to my fellow citizen, especially if I'm sitting in a seat of leadership. If I want people to follow me and to be convinced by my word, action speaks louder than words. That's what I was taught. Sorry. So <laughs> I, Sorry. I, 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 I tried my, my best for over three and a half years, being a member of the Progressive Empowerment Party, being an advocate for that administration, for its policies. I've said in the public space before, don't like Philip Alexander. The man is a, is, is, is a JA. Like the policies of the party. What you're supposed to like is to know that if you put the administration there in government, you have people within the party that will get the job done. That is what you need to like. But the point of the matter is, is that it's only so far and so long that can go as an excuse. Because when it's repeatedly done, time and time again and people now getting into it and feeling well all right well okay um i kind of liking you know the listening and, and all right they're still giving it a, a little chance two weeks later you come and you're cussing somebody you, 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 you're saying something you know and our prime example is myself i i am a victim of that because at the end of the day um i tried ejecting myself out of the party gracefully um i have my resignation still posted on my wall uh, and the response was one that was, in my mind, very nasty. It is, was not one that was fitting for a leader, for a man that is bearing for leadership of Trinidad and Tobago. And that is my personal thought. That is my personal belief. That's my fabric. Because at the end of the day, I spent three and a half years trying to keep the wheels on the track, trying to, to, to spread the word and with all the negativity that people would want to come to me with where Philip is concerned, where his attitude and how he's presenting himself. I still tried my utmost best to defuse the situation and just put the focus on the policies of the party and making them understand where the benefit could lie for them as a wow. citizen. That's what my, that's, that, that was my job for three and a half years. And I didn't, no one asked me to do that. I did that because I wanted to do that because I wanted to give people hope real hope knowing that they can have betterment and the power is in their hands their hands but the point is again mama again trinidad and tobago i anthony the fool cannot subscribe to something that i myself cannot believe in or trust or have confidence in and that was broken by mr alexander because at the end of the day you heard it yourself, Mama. I gave you the damn rec the, the recording, excuse me. And he said out of his own mouth, the don't PP them, is him. Don't use, don't use them words here, no? Yes, yes, yes. I greatly apologize. I greatly apologize. I because, greatly apologize, because man. Because that, that, video, that video, that video, not a good video until you well, and all. Like I you said. And all, you and all with this nice mouth, you really fire back. <laughs> I never hear obscene in my life. 
So let me leave that out of this. That can't come in here at all. <laughs> well, like like so, like I say in so, my heart. No, no, no. Oh. We we heard you and we have questions still for you. And all one right. of the questions that, that I have is um so this is the, the level of what made you develop the skin to give your resignation over. Were you fired or you just give it up? I was fired. I was fired. And um, to save no, face. No, that's all. All so right. Know, any other question that I had to ask you? If we end surgically, place that. I wouldn't know Mr. Defoe because you're going to lose it. Because so when you lo you lost it on that video. So, who is Miss Bermudez? Miss Bermudez is my girlfriend. Bermudez is your girlfriend. And it is alleged that Miss Bermudez is the one, take your time to answer, you know. Because no, he's your girlfriend. For my girlfriend is better than your girlfriend. <laughs> ah. <laughs> so, so, so let me break it down nice and clean, as usual, because of who I am. Right. She's your girlfriend. It is alleged that she's the one who changed Mr. Defoe from being a great friend of and a deputy political leader of Mr. No, everybody don't know me. You know. This is how I just take things nice and slow. Tell us if that is true and if you really allowed her. Now hearing everything that you said, that is enough to make a separation, but it is alleged that she did certain things. Is it true? No, it's not. No, it's not. Elaborate. Ms. Bermudez has always excelled in every uh, uh, department and field that was bestowed to her. Um, she was a member of the party. Um, she before was you? Also before you? Yes. You can say yes. Yes, because uh, actually Philip was the one that, that knew her her um she came into the party through philip not through me <laughs> i met her there so mm. um really and truly like what i'm gonna say pertaining towards Ms. bermudez um you know as far as the portfolios that was bestowed to her while uh within pep um mm. she did have a couple of port portfolios and uh she was very efficient within them uh it there was no fault of hers in any way form or fashion there was no fault of hers. It was it was a, a personality issue that was taking place with other members within the party in itself. So, did you handle your feelings well? Yes, I did. In fact, um, when have, uh, we... Could you guys have worked out something? for the betterment of Trinidad and Tobago and for the young well, people? Well, again, we were trying to work something out. We were trying, I, I was trying my utmost best to still maintain myself and still uh, work and do what was my responsibilities in carrying forward the agenda of the Progressive Empowerment Party. Um, and again, uh, Akila was doing the same thing. When, excuse me? Akila is Miss Bermudez. Yes. Yes. Now, just ask you. Yes, you Kila Bermudez, Akeela. that's her name. People wouldn't know who Akila is because I talk about Miss Bermudez. So, right. we just want to let people know that it's the same person. Afi David. Right. Yes. Well, um, now, after her having to deal with um, the inefficiencies taking place with her and other members, um, she decided to take a step back and in fact she actually ejected herself completely out of the party in itself. Now, 
where things got ramped up basically she had made a public post indicating to the public and her followers that you know what her comments are from this point is not pep related it's not uh, uh in support of the pep uh because she's not a member of the pep anymore um again in my mind i figured that it was her right in order to do so um it was something that was it, I, again i thought that she has a following and they knew her being a part of pep and if she is talking within a political landscape or within any type of commentary uh where politics is concerned uh she did not want to have the impression upon herself by her peers that she was speaking on pep's behalf so what was, it was what a public was her portfolio what was her portfolio um she first went into the media arm of pep and uh was that Co uh, also she was co chair of the youth arm um as well as uh she was uh philip's personal assistant at one point as well so again she held a couple portfolios uh philip tried moving her around uh within the party and and the reasoning why philip had to move her around was simply because there were other members within the party that was just creating a constant problem a constant issue it went as far as uh, those said members creating chats and uh, threads separately to the business of pp to have discussion about uh, uh Ms. Babirez and myself in fact um which i did not appreciate uh we, we did bring some highlight towards it and even had a meeting and I hope to have a resolution where that was concerned which um the res resolution really wasn't met fully uh because there were still issues taking place uh and again as the leader of the party i i had emphasized uh, mr alexander uh could you please directly personally deal with the people that you are aware of in this situation um i to date i am still waiting to see him talk to miss bermudez uh on the issue i mean obviously now it's it's a it's way too late we're already out of the party uh oh, you are has out, basically oh, you are out, out of the party. party yes so you have breaking news for some people Do you well i gave my resignation in uh for the progressive empowerment party uh that in itself is it stood uh, uh and it is one of the reasons why i'm actually here talking to you today mama coco uh you. because miss alex Mr. Alexander, uh, when I handed in my resignation, um, in fact, let do, can I see the resignation? I want to read the resignation to you, and I would read the response to you as well. Um, and this is us making a, a, a part uh, again. I did not. I'm, I'm in no. I have no intentions in hurting Pep in any way, form, or fashion. Hurting Philip in any did, way, did form, or ever, fashion. Did you ever plan a, a political coup? against no never 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 can i see the uh... did you right. want it so did you want it to be the political leader no i did not that was not incited by me it was in, it, it was brought by the people of trinidad and tobago um there was a couple of polls in the past few months last year uh that uh was out on social media where a couple of private entities had posted out whether um the people would have preferred to have myself as the political leader uh versus philip alexander um and again this was a very independent poll i had nothing directly whatsoever to do with these polls uh neither did uh, uh mr bermudez or anyone that we knew again this was very generic um by the way polls that just came out of nowhere uh, I was as shocked as Philip and everyone else uh, when the poll came out, and um, again, it was simply because there was a large portion of people and supporters that was having a call for Philip um, to, if if not change his presentation, we're not saying to change the message, but at least act a little more prime ministerial to pacify a portion of the population that wants that from you, because again, you are supposed to be going there to serve the people, and and they want that to be served to them uh you know so the point is is that they realized that he was not changing his rhetoric and the way how, how he was presenting it themselves and they somewhat appealed more to how my presentation was um spreading the word spreading the message 
uh, of, of PEP and its policies and so on. Uh, again, it's, it's not something that I wanted to, to say that I want the political leaders post. No, no. In fact, I gave recommendation for policy holder um, to actually hold the post of political leader only because as a young black woman, um, uh, uh, she uh, has a, a, you know, people would consider, consider her disabled. Uh, which in reality, um, I know her to be a more powerful woman than, than many women out there with both hands. Um, let's just so, say so, that. Uh, and so the point Mr. is, uh, you know, so I, I look... Mr. Um, I still walking up because, you know, even until when, even until last week, because I didn't know that you accepted the the out, you know, whether you've been fired or, or you tendered your resignation voluntarily or, or if because of the back and forth with Miss Bermudez, who I had a conversation with if she didn't tell you as yet. And I didn't know mm -hmm. that she used to live in England and she used to come backward and forward every six months from England just to be in the party as before she even get to meet you and know you. Or you guys start up your relationship. She was living in England. Yeah. And she just yeah, she came was. and she joined the party, she said. And she didn't join the party for you or with you. She joined Correct. it with Mr. Alexander. Correct. So now, as we get this straightened out, my question to you now is, you, you know, this is the big thing. You have resigned the PEP, but I still see you yes. have yourself as PEP slash UNC. Can you break the news from your own lips, not mine? Of course. Um, I mean, I have uh, spoken to people uh, across the board. Uh, a lot of people reached out to me uh, after handing in my resignation to PEP people? Uh, because like it was see. done publicly. Who people? Normal people or political? No, no people. People from the uh, political landscape of Trinidad and Tobago, right. from uh, different uh, organizations um, on the ground here. Um, and again, so you, met with, I, so, you met with, so you met with PNM people? Uh, ironically, yes, I did. So you, so you I met had with, someone, so you I met had with, someone um, uh, that approached me from PNM, yes. Uh, and it was, it was really hilarious, but <laughs> we will talk about that on another day. <laughs> And but uh, like with, I said, and you met with other parties besides. Yes, I, I met with. I met with other parties as well, um, and again, it wasn't directly with parties. It were people who are e either supporters of part of the parties or members of the part membership of the parties, um, whether it be within the executive level or on a lo lower tier level, uh, because they basically wanted to feel out where my head was at that and uh, you know what direction I wanted to go at this point they were looking on obviously as to what was going on where PEP is concerned um, and uh, you know a lot of people again reached out to me um, I, and I and yes I, I, I made a step forward into another political vehicle um, it's one that I've been uh, familiar with before um, which is the UNC I have uh, extended my support to the UNC. Uh, I've spoken to a few people within um, their tiers uh, in UNC. In fact, I'm still uh, uh, going through uh, a lot of people uh, where UNC is concerned. Uh, but again, for me, I have to understand what UNC is right now, where it wants to take the country. And I have to give that information and be sure of the information that I'm giving to the people that's following me. Uh, you know, my supporters, my family, my friends, my peers. I was just going to ask you about your, your followers in the PEP. You know, a little while ago, I had some a conversation because something went into my spirit where people would encourage you to join a church. And lo and behold, a couple of months or years, along the road the inviter leave that church and leave the yes. people stranded in the middle now you pull a lot of people <clears throat> and then you will tell us a little later 
because we have to deal with people's questions. I'm sure right. people have questions for you. I want to know a little later, okay? Yes. Where you got all those people from? Did you take well, some I of, came in. Did you take some of Pep's people? Well, I wouldn't say I took any of Pep's people um, because Pep's people are not blind. They're not blind. They can they can see. They watch the lives every night. They're the ones that talk about it to begin with. They're the ones that make a, a conscious decision, a large portion of the membership, to accept it. Um, my problem is is that I, I I can't see the acceptance towards that right now. I, I uh, it's it's unbelievable to me. I mean, uh, again, using the example of my resignation and the response of Mr. Alexander towards that resignation publicly, um, that it's it's a sign of a flaw. There is something wrong there, and. Uh, you know, I, I personally did that and place it into the public. Again, it's for the membership to see for themselves, you know. Um, you could pull a, a camel to a well where you can't force it to drink. Um, now, Philip is a person, pe people are mesmerized uh, by the way Philip would speak or, or the message that he would bring. Um, and again, I was I was mesmerized at, at one point as well. Uh, uh, again, he resonated with a lot of things that I myself was seeing to myself. Uh, and I always said, uh, I must be a madman thinking this, uh, only to hear Philip come talking about it. And, you know, is that's how we started piling on more and more people because there were more and more people that was identifying to that and, and was able to, to understand what the message was. But remember again, Mama, remember again, Trinidad and Tobago, this is a man that is bearing for the Prime Minister of Trinidad and Tobago. This the, yes, the, the, yes, the, yes, 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 yes. The commander as and I, chief. The as I, as, as I told, as I told you right now, that we have to move along because we have a lot of questions here, and uh, we already. This is why I'm saying, when a politician get the message out, you cannot stick around laboring on people and not getting ready to present yourself to be elected. Tell us about Correct. Tell us about what perception of the UNC opinion of you. Why did they say well, yes um, to you? Well, obviously, I'm I'm coming from another political body, um, a, a political body that has been very very critical of the UNC and past actions. Um, <laughs> Uh, as critical as what we had put or what the PP had put into the public uh, where PNM was concerned. Um, now, yes, they are very concerned, obviously, again, me coming from another political entity. Uh, but I had to make it clear to them as far as, you know, the questioning came directly to me as to why I left. They themselves was able to see what was happening into the public as to uh, my resignation as well as uh, the response to that. Um, you know, they also agreed with the fact that, you know, Philip was not ready to actually be leader because he's not willing to listen and change his presentation to the population. Um, so they, I made it clear they that... Came up, they came up with that judgment of Philip? Well, again, they all watch, you know, everybody's watching, you know, everybody's watching everybody else. Everybody's watching, PNM is watching Philip, PNM watching UNC, UNC watching PNM, PNM watching... Uh, Pep and, and, and Cop, everybody's looking at everyone simply because they want to know what is being said, um, what the environment really is. This is the political landscape that is Trinidad and Tobago. Um, and this is the political game that they like to talk about, that they play. It's simply about knowing what your opponent is saying, what they're doing, what they're proposing, and for you to develop plans and policies that could probably trump that or... or, or Bring a presentation that can uh, influence the people in a greater sense. So let's let's get it from your mouth. 